Hello and welcome back everyone to another tutorial on Tableau. This series of videos will help you take your skills from beginner to expert level in Tableau. Do not forget to hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon so that you are the first one to know whenever I upload any new video. In today's session we will see how to create progress bar charts in Tableau. Progress bar chart is a good way to show how much progress you have made on a scale of 0 to 100% towards a goal. Let me show you an example first. Here I have a progress bar chart that shows percentage scored by 10 students of a class on a scale of 0 to 100%. Rob has scored 87% in the class on the scale of 0 to 100% then John has scored only 54% in the class further I have highlighted all the students who have scored less than 70% with red color so the students with green dots are those students who have scored 70% or more than 70% in the class and the students with the red dots are those students who have scored less than 70% so by the end of this tutorial you will be able to create a progress bar chart similar to this one now without wasting any time let's jump to tableau for this tutorial i am using the students performance data set in this data set i have marks of 10 students in five different subjects and the final percentage that the student has scored so the columns that are present in the data set are name of the student then the gender of the student then marks scored by the student in five different subjects maths english science social studies and french then the total marks and the percentage that they have scored using this data set we need to find out who has scored the highest percentage so we will use progress bar chart to display the percentage of all the 10 students now let's go to sheet 1. First, we have to create this scale that starts from 0% and goes till 100% as we have to show the percentage scored by students on a scale of 0 to 100%. So write down in the column shelf average of 1, then drag name column to the row shelf let's change the fit to entire view change the color of these bars to light gray color let's select this light gray color now to make the edges of these bars as rounded let me show you like these rounded edges we will again write down average of 0 next to the average 1 field now drag this average 0 field on this average 1 axis to create a blended axis chart blended axis chart is that where we can compare multiple measures on a single axis next from the marks type select line then drag measure names to path now just increase the size of the line so here we have the bar with rounded edges let's remove these tooltips go to tooltip uncheck show tooltips click on ok now we have to show the percentage scored by the students on these bars for that we will make use of dual axis chart so drag percentage to the column shelf next to measure values click on the drop down click on dual axis right click on the axis to synchronize both the axis right click click on synchronize axis now go to percentage field from this drop down select circle let's decrease the size of these circles so that
they are clearly visible let's select color for these circles let me select this blue color next let's add the percentage label below these circles so drag percentage to label now let's change the format to show labels in the form of percentage right click click on format make sure pane is selected go to numbers then click on percentage we don't want to show any decimal places so now we can see the percentage scored by the students if you want we can get these labels just below these circles so let's edit the alignment go to label then under alignment drop down select bottom and here select center now let's hide these axis right click and uncheck show header remove these field label right click and click on hide field label for rows lastly let's remove these grid lines right click click on format then go to borders from here select none for row divider then select none for the column divider go to lines go to columns select none for the grid lines and select none for the zero lines to sort these bars in descending or ascending order click on the drop down click on sort sort by field you can select any sort order according to your preference let me select descending we want to sort these bars according to percentage close this sort window you will observe that the labels are not clearly visible for few of the circles for that we can try to reduce the size of the circle now the labels are clearly visible for all the circles lastly to highlight the students who have scored less than 70% we will create a new calculated field close this format lines window click on the drop down click on create calculated field let's name it condition and here we will write down the formula if percentage greater than or equal to 0.7 then good else bad and this calculation will categorize all the students who have scored 70% or more than 70% as good and all the students who have scored less than 70% will be categorized as bad here you can give conditions according to your requirement make sure you are giving the percentage in form of decimal otherwise the formula will give us error click on okay make sure percentage field is selected here drag this condition to color so now let's edit the color select blue color for good and red color for bad click on okay so now all the students with red color are those students who have scored less than 70% and the students with percentage more than or equal to 70% are highlighted with blue color we can also give same color to these labels as the color of these dots so go to label and here click on this font drop down click on match mark color and click on bold here you will observe that the color of these labels is matching with the color of these circles 
last thing that i need to mention here here i have selected circle for percentage so you can select any mark type to show the percentage let me select square now we can see squares instead of circles next we can also select shape if you want you can also give different shape to the students who have scored more than 70% and different shape to the students who have scored less than 70% for that just drag this condition to shape and now let's edit the shape i have already added these smileys to tableau repository let me select sad smiley for bad and happy smiley for good so these are the custom shapes that i have added to the tableau repository i have already created a video where i have explained how to add these custom shapes in tableau you will find the link of that video in the top right corner and i have also added the link of that video in the description below click on okay so now you will observe that the students with percentage greater than 70% are shown with happy emoticons and the students with less than 70% are shown with sad emoticons in this way we can create a progress bar chart to visualize the percentage column that we have in our data set so this was all that i had to cover in this session i have added the link of this workbook in the description below thanks for watching this session do not forget to hit the thumbs up button if you like this video see you in the next tutorial